Write the following fractions in order of size, starting with the smallest fraction. So it's quite hard to tell which is smaller and which is bigger just by looking at the fractions. However, it's much easier for us to compare them if we convert them into another form, so we can convert them into decimals or percentages or something like that. So let's start by converting to decimals. Now this is a calculator paper, so to do that, we can put in the fraction 5 over 8 on our calculator and click equals. And then there's a button which might look something like this in your calculator that will display the answer as a decimal. So if we click that, we'll see here that we get 0 0.625. Now doing that for this one as well, if we put 2 over 3 in the calculator, click equals, then press the STD button. That gives us 0 0.6 reoccurring. And then I've done the exact same thing with the other two fractions here. So what we've done in this step is we've converted to decimals. Now you might be able to just look at that and see which is the biggest and which is the smallest and put them in order. If so, that's great. But what I find sometimes a bit easier is if we now convert into a percentage. So to do that, if we multiply a decimal by 100... And I'm going to keep everything to one decimal place. So we're going to have 62.5. Now for the next one, we've got 0 0.6 reoccurring. So if I multiply that by 100, I get 66.6 reoccurring. So if I round that to one decimal place, we're going to get 66.7. Same for this one. I'm going to get 44. And it's going to be 0 0.4444444. So if we round that to one decimal place, it'll be just 0.4. And for the last one, we just get 60%. And now we should be able to order them much more easily. So we can see the smallest one is 44.4. And then the next one up is this one, 60%. Then this one, 62. Last one, at least 66.7. So I'm going to write it in that order, but referring to the fractions up here. So we'll have 4 over 9, 3 over 5, 5 over 8, and 2 out of 3. So we get our first mark for a conversion. So either converting to decimal or percentage or both. And then we get our second mark if we then list the fractions in the correct order.